Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you guys how to configure Magnus Billing and make your first call. Um, this is a fresh install of Magnus Billing in CentOS 7. Um, the only changes I did prior to this video is changing the HTTP port and the asterisk port, ports which I could use in the setup here, but you guys don't need to do that. Uh, I only did it because I'm using virtualization to create this tutorial. But other than that, it's a native clean install of Magnus Billing. So let's log in with the default credentials, which is root and Magnus password. Um, so first of all, in order to make a new, uh, new call and make everything work correctly, we need to create a new user for, uh, for our service. So let's click on new here. Um, and as you guys can see here, uh, the username and password has been generated for us. So let's select the group for this client uh, and select client here. Um, as you guys can see here as well, we don't have any plans. So we need to create a new plan. So let's go over to rates here and click plans. Let's click new plan and let's call this plan gold or golden. Uh, and let's save. You can also change these other options, but uh, for the sim for simplicity, we won't change anything. So we created the golden plan here. Let's go back over to the user and select the golden plan we just created and save. So now we have this user here. Um, the system already created automatically a SIP user for this user here. and. Uh, and we can already register in the system. So let me bring my Zoiper over here. Uh, let's grab the IP address of the server and put it in the domain here. Double dot 5061, which is the port uh, my asterisk is running. Uh, the default Magnus Billy installation uses 5060 and that's the default SIP port. So you could only use the IP address but since I changed that, I'm gonna do the double dot 61. Let's copy the SIP user here and the SIP password and save the credentials. As you guys can see, we registered correctly. And if we press refresh here, it shows okay. So we have registered the SIP account in uh, Softphone. But we have a problem. We don't have any routes to call any phone. So what we're going to do here is go over to routes here. Let's create a new provider called test. Okay. Um, and save. Now we're going to create a new trunk. So for this provider, we just created uh, with the name test as well. Let me grab the credentials here for this um, trunk here. Okay, so I've added the credentials and host. So let's uh, set the register to yes because I'm using a trunk that needs this enabled. Let's save. Um, if we click here, we have this red dot, which means it didn't register yet. But if we refresh, you guys can see that it, it registered correctly. So this trunk should be working. Okay, so let's go over to trunk groups and create a new one. And let's call it test group as well. And this group is going to have only the test trunk here. Um, Let's save here and let's go back over to the race here. Uh, we have created the golden plan, but this plan doesn't have any tariffs. Okay, so we need to create a tariff. But in order for us to be able to create a tariff, we need to create a prefix. So let's create a prefix for 55, which is Brazil. Okay, Brazil and save. Perfect, so let's go over to tariffs here and create a tariff for the golden plan. For the destination is going to be Brazil. 
so this plan is going to be able to call um, the whole Brazil in any state so the trunk group which this tariff should be routed for is the test group and this test group has the test trunk here we can add m multiple trunks over here and change the type for order random or out LCR uh, so that's up to you guys, but I'm not gonna go over uh, a lot of this right now because I want to make a simple tutorial. And over here in the sell price, you can uh, set the price to whatever you prefer. I'm gonna set it to one cent and save. And as of now, we should be able to make the call. Um, so let's go over here and type the number I we want to call. I'm going to call this number, which is my number. Your balance is empty. As you guys can see, our balance is empty. So let's go over to billing and refills. Let's create a new refill and set, choose the username, the amount of that refill. And the description should be test as well. And let's save. So if we go back over to the user, the user we created now has credit and belongs to the golden plan. So if we try to make this call again, my phone is ringing right now, you guys can't see that, but it is ringing. Uh, I'm gonna refuse the call. So we got an IVR. Um, so it's working properly or call is being routed correctly. These are all the basic steps to make the system work with a trunk. Uh, I didn't explain much uh, about every little detail of the process, but this is the basics. This is what you guys need to know to make the system work. So if you guys have any questions, leave a comment. Uh, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and if you guys want some support, go over to magnusolution.com or join the Telegram group for free help. Thank you.